Manga Wido. My name is Shunsuke Kajiyama. I've been working at this department store since my freshman year of university. Welcome! I work at a fast food restaurant in the food court. I've been here for three and a half years, and now I'm the head of the part-timers. It's not that I'm particularly great at my job, but I just felt comfortable working here. In the end, I became head since I've been here the longest. All of my friends have decided on their plans for the future. Some have job offers, some have signed up for postgraduate studies, but me? I don't have any dreams. I haven't been active when it comes to job hunting. I've just been enjoying working my part-time job. I'm a senior this year. What the heck am I doing? I need to do something about this. To tell you the truth, I'm starting to think that working full-time at this department store wouldn't be such a bad idea. I used to come here all the time when I was a kid. I have many memories here. Plus, it's a great place overall. The department store I work at does its best to satisfy its customers. It's always crowded with various age ranges. Students, families, and elderlies. All kinds of people. It's also famous for its unique events, which are held regularly to keep the customers coming. It even has an indoor camping site and a beer hall. The food court was made in hopes of bringing in a wider range of customers. The interior design is interesting too. Strange objects and captivating pictures are placed all over to keep the customers entertained. However, recently there have been some disturbing incidents. Ah, those thugs are here again! I see them here so much these days. Some rough-looking thugs seem to have taken a liking to the food court. They always stay for several hours doing nothing. I know everybody is supposed to be welcome here, but... I just don't like how they behave. They have terrible manners. I wouldn't be complaining if they were decent. They're always so loud. They never buy food at the food court. They bring their food and drinks, and always leave a huge mess after they leave. Hey, you guys! You can't leave this mess behind! Make sure you clean it all up! Leave us alone, you idiot! If it bothers you so much, why don't you clean it up? As you can see, they won't listen to what the security guard says. They ignored him and left. Not that I'm trying to brag or anything, but I used to be a pretty badass thug back in the day. To be honest, I caused a lot more trouble than any of those thugs in the food court. I feel bad for anybody who was involved, so I'm quite confident I can beat them. I tried going over to warn them before, but... Shunsuke, stop! Don't go, okay? If anything happens, it'll become such a huge deal! The store manager begged me not to go, so I had no choice but to stay. I didn't want to cause any trouble for all the other restaurants and the department store. I understand. So I decided to let it go. However, it still bothered me seeing those thugs throwing a party and littering all over the place. Get off! What the heck is he doing? What is he, a chimpanzee? Many of the employees have had terrifying experiences. The thugs have followed some of them on their way home. I've heard that some of them have even been grabbed at by the collar, and others have been chased down the street. Hey, who do you think you are? You want a piece of me? I have connections with the famous Manwa Gumi. How long do I have to wait for my food, you sloth? Whenever something got on their nerves, they would take it out on the employees. I don't know how many times we called the police on them. However, they seemed to be used to it. They would escape before the police arrived. They even seemed to be enjoying running away from the police. The security guard didn't know what to do about them. They're causing too much trouble. What should we do about them? The old man recently joined us. He's a new security guard. I feel awful about the situation. You probably didn't sign up for any of this. Hey, there are always going to be obstacles. I didn't come here just to play. I felt thankful when he said that. But it doesn't mean the situation would get any better. I don't know if the thugs are bluffing or not, but they say they're acquainted with the Yakuza groups. We couldn't do anything about it, and it kept getting worse. One day, the thugs were at the food court, creating a ruckus as always. Ugh. Why are they doing that in front of our shop? I guess we won't be getting any customers today. Every time these guys came, the other customers all left. I wanted to yell at them, but I had to bite down on my lip not to. Just then, one of the thugs turned around, and his eyes met mine. Hey you! Why are you glaring at us? You got something to say to us? Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. You're glaring at us, aren't you? You wanna fight? Huh? I guess I just have sharp eyes. I apologize if I irritated you. 
It's just, there are other customers here. Can you tone it down a bit? Suddenly, one of the guys threw his water towards me, and it splashed into my face! <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies! My bad! I apologize! I guess I just have slippery hands! The thugs were cracking up like crazy hyenas! It took everything I had to hold down my anger. The new security guard came rushing over and started to wipe the water off with his handkerchief. You should be proud of yourself. I know how tough it is to hold it in. You did great. The cleaning ladies also came running in to clean up the wet floor. The security guard and I helped wipe up all the water. The thugs were still laughing while we cleaned. Damn it. How can I just let them do things like this? However, just then, I saw the security guard walk up to the thugs. Hey, you guys. Huh? What's he doing? I saw what you guys did. That was rude and extremely inappropriate. You should apologize to him. Now! Oh my gosh! Did you hear what he just said? Are you serious? Are you sure you should be doing that? You could get fired, you know. You're working here because you don't have enough money, right? You don't want to lose your job, do you? The thugs are underaged customers. If anything big happens, the thugs might get punished, but the old man would get a worse punishment. What if they put in a complaint? The old man could get fired, for real. However, the old man didn't seem to care, and that angered the thugs even more. You think you can get away with treating us like this? Are you trying to get yourself hurt? Huh? Speak for yourself, kid. I'm sure you don't want to get hurt. I'm an eighth Don in karate. The old man's words caused another round of laughter. <laughs> Did you hear? He said karate! <laughs> this is hilarious! He's so old and wobbly! How can he do karate? <laughs> Here! How about you give it a try? Kick me, will you? Come on! I'm waiting! Fine. Let's do it. But before that, you. Can you help me with this? Huh? Uh, sure. What do you want me to do? The old man told me to bring a fish sculpture toward him. I held the sculpture using both my hands. Yeah! The old man suddenly yelled. Everybody was shocked to see him kick with such force. He broke the sculpture instantly. Okay, enough practice. Thanks for waiting. Do you want me to kick your legs or your butt? Let's see how many bones I can break. <laughs> The thugs looked like little rabbits fleeing for their lives. I've never seen anybody disappear so fast. Thank you so much for what you did back there. I'll go to the department store manager to explain why the sculpture is broken. Huh? Don't, oh, don't worry about it. I'll just have another one made. It'll be ready in no time. Huh? What do you mean have another one made? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> you don't know who I am, do you? Of course you don't. The old man handed me a business card, and I froze when I saw what was written on it. Mr. Genjiro Oda? I couldn't believe it. The man standing before me was the chairman of the board of directors for the department store. Many of the events held at the department store came from ideas Mr. Oda came up with. I've only heard stories about him, but apparently he's very unique and very creative. He's a great leader and has all the attractive qualities a person can have. He was the main person who led this department store into a success. Why were you pretending to be a security guard? Well, I wanted to check up on things without scaring anybody. I thought going undercover would be the best way. He then explained that he usually goes around undercover to check on all of his stores. It was to obtain information and to maintain his health by moving around. You impressed me back there, holding your anger back like that. Do you want to come work for us full-time? What? Are you sure? Of course I am. Y yes of course, I would love to work here. And so, it was decided. The chairman promised me a position at the department store. Going back to the thugs, I think the chairman scared them off for good. They never came back. On top of that, their other thug friends heard about what happened at the food court. They were labeled as an embarrassment to the thug community. I know what they're going through. People like them, their reputation is everything they have. Being weak is considered pathetic and shameful. They seemed to have disappeared for a while. I didn't hear much about them. However, one day, some interesting news came rolling in. The thugs have been using Manwa Gumi's name to threaten commoners, 
and Manwa Gumi found out about it. They were furious. There's nothing more terrifying than a group of angry Yakuza. So I guess the thugs were bluffing when they said they had connections with Manwa Gumi. I heard that the thugs got a proper scolding for using Manwa Gumi's title without their permission, and for using their name to cause trouble for commoners. You reap what you sow. I'm not a huge fan of Yakuza, but I felt thankful when I heard what happened. After that, I never heard anything about them ever again. I just hope they're alive. They're like cockroaches. I bet they're hiding around somewhere, waiting for their time to come out again.